Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code. Today we'll be taking you through HTML canvas. Before we start, I hope the screen is clearly visible to you guys and the audio is fine. If yes, please type in yes in the comments below. If there are any issues, do let us know in the chat section so that we can resolve them. Let's wait for some time for others to join us. Till then, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and wants to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So great, I think we can get started now. Before we move on and start with HTML canvas, I want to discuss the list attribute we came across in the last video. We were facing some issues in that part. So let's use that input attribute again. Now this attribute is used within the input attribute. But every time we use this attribute, we need a data list element. We need to mention the options we provide for the list within the data list element. So let's do it here. What we'll do is we'll move to the body section and we'll create a form post. Fine. Now inside this, we are going to use the label element. Now within label, let's say we are providing a label as languages. And then we'll write here input. Input is an element. Then we'll write here list. List we are going to write as languages. And then we'll write here name as languages. Fine. Now the next step is we'll use the data list element. So we'll write here data list and we'll provide the ID as well. So ID we are going to write here as languages. Fine. Now inside this, we are going to provide the options. So we'll use the option element. We'll write here value. Value is let's say CSS. The first value is CSS. Then we'll remove this option from here. Now what we'll do is we are going to copy this option for some times. So we'll paste it here, then here, then here as well. Fine. Now we are going to change the values here. So let's say we have values like HTML. And then we'll write here, let's say, javascript and finally we'll write one more value here let's say we have php fine now save the program and here you can see we have this input box present over here on the browser with the label languages the problem with the previous code was the id attribute so we have here we have done everything right so here you can see we have used the id as languages let's see if this code works or not and we'll move our cursor here and here you can see we have this list we have css html javascript and php present over here fine we are getting these options over here to choose one from we can choose any let's say we are choosing html so this is how we can use the list attribute within the input tag guys i hope you must have got it now let's move on and we'll now discuss html canvas using javascript the html canvas element is utilized to create visuals instantly the canvas element serves only as a holding area for images. The graphics must be created with JavaScript only. There are numerous ways to draw pathways, boxes, circles, text and put images on a canvas. The theoretical part for this element is not that much. Just keep one thing in mind that this particular element is used to draw graphics on a web page. Although the canvas element alone is not enough to draw those graphics, JavaScript is necessary for it. So let's go through some examples of the canvas element. So what we'll do is we'll remove this form or let's say, let's let it be for now. So what we'll do is we'll write over here canvas. So this is our element. So this is the closing tag for canvas element. Now we are going to use certain attributes within the canvas element. So we'll write over here ID. ID is let's say my canvas. Fine. Now we are going to mention some other attributes as well so let's say we are writing over here width width is going to be 200 then we have the height attribute as well so let's say the height is 100 save the program and here you can see nothing happening over on the browser so let's do one thing let's use the style attribute now so we'll write over here style and we'll use border so our border is going to be one pixel and we have to put this semicolon over here we'll write solid and then we'll mention the color name. So let's say the color is black. Fine. The ID attribute we are using here is for the JavaScript part, obviously. Save the program. And you can see here we have this box present. 
Now, whatever graphics we add will only be visible inside the canvas only, inside this particular box. So let me add a break element over here so that it will be easy for you guys to understand. We'll write over here break twice and here you can see this is our box. This is our canvas basically. Now let's move on to the JavaScript part. We'll add a JavaScript file here first. So we'll move here and we'll add a file over here. So let's say a file name is xyz.js. So this is our new file. Now we need to embed this file with a HTML document. So what we'll do is we'll use the script tag after a body tag. Fine. After body, we'll use the script tag. So let me write it over here, script. Then we'll write over here, src. A JavaScript file name is xyz.js. Fine. Now we'll mention type over here. Type is going to be text slash JavaScript for adding a JavaScript file. Now this file is embedded with a HTML document. So we'll move on to a JavaScript file first and here's our JavaScript file. Now what we'll do is we'll declare some variables. I know JavaScript is not going to be easy for you guys because we are working with HTML right now. But if you have any idea about JavaScript, then it's fine. If not, then certainly you will get an idea about JavaScript in future. So let's write over here where X, this is a variable. Now we'll use the document dot get element by ID method. So this is the method. We have used the ID as my canvas over here. You can see the ID for this particular element is my canvas. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to access this particular element using the ID. Fine. So we'll move to a JavaScript file and we'll mention the ID over here. So the ID is my canvas. Now we'll create another variable over here. Let's say the variable name is where y. We'll write over here x dot get context. We'll discuss each of these methods we are using in some time. So let's write it over here first. Then we'll write over here y dot move to. So we have to write here move to. Fine. So we have to mention the values over here, the coordinates basically. So we'll write over here 0, 0. Then we'll write over here y dot line 2. And we'll write over here other coordinates so we'll write over here 200 comma 100 then we have y dot stroke fine so this is another method we have in javascript now the get context function we used here is the function we used to get access to the canvas tags 2d drawing functions the move to method moves a window to the specified coordinates fine then we have the line to method. It adds a new point and creates a line from that point to the last specified point in the canvas. The stroke function draws the lines and borders around the text and shapes. So these are the four methods we have used in this particular program or we can say to create a particular line. Fine. So just save the program and you can see this line present within the canvas. It's easy if you guys know about certain JavaScript functions. So here you can see this is the line. So this is what the canvas element in HTML is used for. Now let's move ahead and we'll create a different structure now. So let's say we are going to create a circle. The HTML part will remain the same. We are not going to change anything over here because we have the canvas element present here already. Now we have to make certain changes in the JavaScript part. So what we'll do is we'll comment this part for now. So we'll write over here like this and we'll and this comment over here. Fine. Now we are going to create a circle. For circle, we are going to take two variables again, where x, which is going to access a canvas element. So we'll write over here document dot get element by id again. The id is my canvas. It will remain the same and we'll write over here my canvas. Then we'll write over here where y, y is going to be x dot get content. So we'll write over here x dot get context. So we have to write here like this and then we'll write here 2D. Fine. Now we'll move certain other functions as well. So we'll write over here y dot begin path. Fine. This is the first function. Then we'll write here y dot arc. And we are going to provide certain values within this function. So let's say the values are 95. Then we have 50. 40, 0 and
टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय मैथ डॉट पाई फाइन so we'll write over here y dot stroke again this is the same function we used previously to draw a line now the begin path method begins a path or resets the current path fine the arc method we used here creates an arc or we can say curve it is used to create circles or paths of a circle fine the stroke method actually draws the arc on the canvas it's similar to the previous method we used so these are the function we used to draw a circle within the canvas save the program and you can see the circle over here present here inside the canvas fine so this is the circle we have now let's move on and we'll add some text now so what we'll do is we'll comment this piece of code as well for now we'll cut this part from here we'll paste it here and this whole code is commented now now we are going to add some text so we are going to take a variable again so let's say the variable will remain the same we'll write over here document dot get element by id fine we'll write the id over here as well we'll write my canvas and we are going to take another variable let's take y again or we will now take a let's say fine we'll write here a dot get context we are going to take the 2d concept context again so we'll write over here 2d and then we'll write over here a dot font font we are going to specify for this text for the text of us so we'll write over here 30 pixel and let's say the font name is a fine now we are going to write over here a dot stroke text fine we'll write the text over here so the let's say the text is simply code and we'll write over here some more values so let's say we are writing over here 10 and 50 now this code over here will give us stroke test to make it simple we have to make certain changes but let's save this first you can see we have saved this and we have to write here one more thing so we'll write roboto save it now and we have not mentioned something over here so let's see what's wrong over here so we have okay so we have to write here x so we will save it and here you can see the text present over here on the browser it says simply code now to change this text to a simple one what we have to do is we have to change this last line only instead of a dot stroke text what we'll do is we'll copy it from here we'll paste it here and we'll comment this piece of code fine so we have commented it and instead of stroke text we are going to write here fill text save it and you here you can see we have this simple text present over here on the browser we can do several such things with canvas html like creating gradients we can draw lines and many more such things so for now we are not going to discuss them all because javascript is needed for it guys and i don't want you guys to get confused on this so i hope you guys have understood the canvas concept in html by now so canvas is used to create graphics or to add graphics to a web page so it's time to say goodbye guys i'll catch you guys in another session if you enjoyed this session then do give it a thumbs up comment your doubts below and we'll definitely help you until then keep coding and stay tuned to simply code thank you